Now we're going to continue with uh, this problem. So the expected project completion time is the sum of, this is the expected project completion time. So that is equal to T sub B plus T sub E plus T sub G. So that will be like 7 plus 4 plus 10 equal to 21 weeks. Now sigma squared sub P, which is the project variance, is sum of sigma squared of critical path activities. So for our problem, that is sigma squared sub B plus sigma squared sub E plus sigma squared sub G. So now we need to compute the variance on, of only these three activities. So let's go back to the previous page and compute variance only for B, E, and G. So sigma squared sub B is 10 minus 4 squared over 36. So that is 36 over 36. We will not divide the 36 into the numerator yet. Sigma squared sub E is 6 minus 2 squared over 36. 16 over 36. And sigma squared sub G is 17 minus 7 squared divided by 36, so that is 100 over 36. So we take these three numbers and add them here. So that will be 36 over 36 plus 16 over 36 plus 100 over 36 will give us 152 over 36 and this is the only time we will divide the 36 into anything. So this makes the number of amount of computations a little bit less and you round only one time. So it is more accurate as well. Now sigma sub p, so that is the standard deviation of project completion time. So that is equal to square root of sigma squared sub p which is 4.222 square root of that and that is 2.0548. So we have T sub E is 21 and sigma sub P is 2.0548. So we'll use these two numbers for computing probabilities, which we will look at in the next video.